In this video, I'm going to take a little bit of a detour from my typical bike related content and do a scooter review. Yes, this is my first ever scooter review on this channel. This is not your typical scooter. This is the Varla Eagle One scooter. This is actually designed to go off road. It has dual suspension, dual hydraulic disc brakes, and goes 40 miles an hour. So what I'm going to do in this video is kind of show the controls, some of the features of it, and then we'll take it on a test drive. Before I show the controls on the scooter, I'll first say that this thing comes pretty much ready to go. All you have to do is unfold the handle, which I'll show how it folds up, and put on the handlebars. So it's got kind of a mountain bike style stem and you just put the handlebars on and you're ready to go. Now we did swap the brakes on this because the brakes come set up moto style, or I think it may be European style, where the left brake is actually the rear wheel I'm used to mountain biking and so I set it up so that the right brake is the rear wheel and the left is the front. Other than that, we didn't really do much to it to get it going. So let's take a look at the controls. This thing does actually come with a key, which is nice, so your kids can't jump on it in the garage. So you put the key in and turn it, and then to power it on, you hold down the power button for about two seconds. Once the scooter is on, you'll see an LCD display. The first thing that I'll show you is when you press the mode button, it changes the gear. So you've got gear one, two and three gear one makes it top out at 15 miles an hour gear two at 25 and then gear three for 40 miles an hour as you can see you have a battery indicator you also have an odometer you can tap the power button it'll show a trip so you can track your mileage or kilometers on a trip touch it again it'll show you the volts of the battery so we're at 55.3 so it's very charged of course right now if you hold down the mode button for two seconds the lights will come on. So you've got dual headlights and dual tail lights. The headlights to me are more for safety. Like you can't go fast at night with them. I would put a standard bike light on the handlebars if you needed a lot of light, but they're good for safety. And by the way, when you squeeze the brakes, the lights in the back will blink whether the tail lights are on or not. This is your throttle. I'll turn it off so I don't make the scooter go. It's a variable throttle, so bring it in slightly to go slow and bring it all the way down to go fast. On the left side, you've got a red button that allows you to give power only to the rear wheel, which is single. If you push it in, that's dual, and that gives power to both wheels. And both wheels, when it's on dual, gets a thousand watts of power. And then, of course, with the button out, the rear wheel is gonna get a thousand watts of power. As you'll hear me talk about on my test ride, this thing accelerates insanely fast when it's in dual and when it's in turbo. So on the left side, it's opposite of this button. So eco is in, turbo is out. So eco mode means the scooter is just gonna go slower and accelerate slower. So if you want this thing to go as fast as possible, you have it on turbo, which is the yellow button out and then dual which is the red button in it does come with the flatter style grips which are pretty comfortable and it also comes with a bell like i said it comes with hydraulic disc brakes which actually have really good modulation i can't believe i'm even saying that for a scooter review but the brakes work really well so it's a single piston brake and this is your disc of course both on the front and also on the rear there are the shocks. The shocks work very well. This thing rides really smooth off-road, especially kind of around a bumpy yard. I mean, it's, it's, it's fun to ride. All right, let's take a look at the deck. So the deck is 9.1 inches wide, so you can put both feet together. It's got a little fender in the back, but this thing is not really designed to be ridden in the rain. It's got an IP54 waterproofing, which means it can take some light rain, some splashes, things like that. But not something you want to ride in really heavy rain. Also included with the scooter are three other styles of deck grip. So if you don't want to look down at flaming skulls under your feet when you're going 40 miles an hour, you can mix it up. It also comes with an extra inner tube and it comes with a multi-tool. The tires are 10 inches in diameter and three inches wide, which gives you some pretty good stability both on the road and off-road. The scooter does come with a little kickstand in the back, which is really a necessity for when you're not riding the scooter, so you don't have to lay it down in your garage or wherever you're resting it. At the bottom of the steering column, you got your clamp so that you can fold it up. So you're just gonna undo both of these. And then you would slide this collar up, and that way you can fold this thing up. Sometimes you do have to loosen the little bolts on the side because you have to get the collar all the way up so that this thing will fold. 
So this scooter weighs 77 pounds, so it's not like you're gonna fold this thing up and take it up 20 flights of stairs at an apartment, but it does fold up nice enough to put it in your car and the trunk. So all you have to do is you're gonna just grab this, grab the fender. And like I said, it fits in the back of a car in a trunk really easily. Now let's get this ready to ride and we'll take it on a test ride. Now for our test ride, and yes, if you haven't figured it out, you should definitely wear a helmet when riding this thing. We're not gonna get too crazy today, but if you're gonna go like crazy fast and lean it over and take it off road real fast, you should probably wear knee pads and elbow pads too. So I've got it on gear three right now, which is pretty fast and I've got both wheels driving. So it's on dual. So again, a thousand watts to each wheel. So I'm gonna start from a couple miles an hour and then accelerate. So I've got it as fast as it'll go. So both wheels, I've got it on turbo and gear three. So you can see how fast this thing accelerates. Yeah. All right, let's take it over here on some trail. Now I will say if you're used to a mountain bike with a slack head angle, this thing is going to feel a little twitchy. But the suspension is, I mean, it's remarkably smooth. It's not going to be as smooth as like a, you know, a trail bike or enduro bike, but you know, you can take it on pads like this. And when you're off road, it's nice that both wheels can get power if you put it on dual. I'm not going to go too fast since I don't have knee pads and elbow pads on, but just showing that you can take it off road. All right, back on the road. So I've got it on as slow as it'll go. So one wheel, eco mode, and then gear one, which tops out at 15. And I'll, I'm holding the throttle all the way down. So this is probably how you want to start off when you first get to riding this thing, just so you can feel kind of what it feels like. Let's go to gear two. Yeah, it accelerates really slow in eco mode and one wheel. And then let's go to gear three. And eco mode, it's just not gonna go that fast. Let's go to turbo. All right, so gear three, turbo, but only using one wheel. The acceleration between one wheel and two wheels is remarkably different. All right, now let's go to both wheels. We'll get around this corner and pin it to finish up the test ride. It's, it's pretty stable when you're going fast, but you know, you, you, you gotta be careful not to just let the bars flop around because like I said, it can get twitchy if you allow it to. Just gotta be careful with it. This is not something you wanna buy your eight year old for Christmas. So that is the Varlet Eagle One electric scooter that goes up to 40 miles an hour. That's an absolute blast to ride. So what kind of people would be interested in this? Well, it's fairly expensive. It's $1,600. But if you're looking for something just to have a blast on and have fun on, if you need something to kind of put in the back of your car and then get around town when you get somewhere, if you want to just commute in the city and have something that is really easy to get around on. So I'm curious if any of you have ridden an electric scooter like this, let me know in the comments below your experience on it. And as always, any questions or comments about this scooter video, let me know. Thanks for watching.